as you know, in this workshop, we do everything for this YouTube channel, from filming the videos, editing, bike builds, carpentry. The bike side of the garage is working great, so I don't wanna change it, I wanna keep that but I wanna optimize this place for tinkering. The 3D printer needs a home. The smasher needs a home. Our smaller tinker tools need a home. And so I'm taking the entire office out of here, taking this structure over here down, the voice booth, everything. And then I'm gonna show you what's going in its place. When I first started this YouTube channel, I couldn't talk on camera, the words just wouldn't come out. Being that we don't need a dedicated booth anymore, we could reclaim the space for doing projects, but it is a pretty funny chapter in Burn Peak history. We've definitely reached the point of no return. Now I can show you what's going over here. This is a mezzanine, or it's the parts to build a mezzanine, looks just like this thing in the picture right here. This basically makes another story here. I can put the office up top, and then I can put something else down below. I ordered this over the summer at some point. We had a hell of a time getting it off the truck. Luckily, my neighbor Shane had some forks for his tractor, or else we wouldn't have stood a chance. And I do wonder if I'm gonna stand a chance assembling this by myself. I was a little intimidated by the sheer number of parts, but then I saw that they included a tape measure and I realized they expect people who don't own any tools to put this together and so I think we're gonna do just fine. Now the stairs are done so we can get up there. I installed these metal brackets. What are those for? Well, they're for these. These are drawers for extra space. I figured they would be made of Chilean sea bass, but yeah, they're made of cardboard and so eventually I'll probably have to remake them out of something stronger. on the brochure shows one entire side with railing on it. This manual that came with it shows one little section and then pretty much every picture I reference while buying the freaking thing shows railing around two sides which would in theory be perfect for this. I have no office. In my workshop where everything takes place it is in complete shambles and so I've got to make this happen. The one that they included, it was like the flimsiest crap. This is awesome. And it only costs about 400 bucks as opposed to $2,000. Now to hook up some outlets so that we can actually have an office up there.
So our laboratory is coming along pretty nice. We have empty space everywhere, empty drawers, places for bins. When you get more space, you need breathing room and that's kind of why we needed to create this in the first place. And so the next priority is setting up the office, but I can't start working on the office yet because first thing in the morning, we're getting something very special. Of course, I didn't come this far to have an office without windows, some kind of natural light. That's the whole point. If we're gonna do a true upgrade, the upgrade has to have windows, in this case, skylights. It's 6.30 at night, they got it all done in one day, it looks great, and I expected nothing less. I've used these guys before, they're really good, but now I have to get the office set up before tomorrow afternoon because family's coming over for the Thanksgiving weekend. All right, I can move this stuff around and play house anytime I want. I have to make this a functional office. So here I am at the webcam at my computer desk. This is how I'm going to join podcasts and video chats and everything with this backdrop. But right now, it's pretty messy. Now that this place is set up and I have my shop and my office back, it's like a shipping container lifted off my shoulders. And so let me show you around. Nothing's better for productivity than an uncluttered workspace. Anything I don't need is not here. Anything I do need is tucked away in a drawer or secured neatly so I don't have to look at it. Curtis has his workspace. This workspace can also be used for anybody who's visiting. They just plug this Thunderbolt cable into their laptop and away they go. And like I said before, another great thing about this workspace is that if I'm on a Zoom call or a video podcast, my backdrop is the shop from up high. It's kind of the best thing ever. And I guess technically if somebody needs to spend the night, they could do it up here on this couch. Now I wanna give you a closer look at the laboratory, but just like any lab, you can't visit without proper clearance. The laboratory. Not only is this a great place for 3D printing, sticker making, repairing electronics, tinkering, but it frees up the bike shop for working on bikes. It was starting to get really cluttered over there because I was doing a million things that the shop wasn't really set up for. Here, I have all my little tiny screwdrivers and soldering irons and multimeters, 3D printer, filament, vinyl cutting supplies. Everything that's not mountain bikes or woodworking is in here. A lot of these drawers are still empty and that's a good thing because at Berm Peak, we're always doing something new. In the other corner, of course, we have the Smasher. Now you know what the Smasher is for and now it's in the workshop where we can gain access to it quickly. The mezzanine was something I've wanted to do for a really long time. I didn't really know what was gonna be below it, but pretty obvious now, it's a laboratory. Thank you to our friends at DLV Roofing for working around my schedule and getting those skylights in. Thanks to my father-in-law, Frank, for helping me with the railing, among other things. I hope you'll learn something today, and if not, I hope you at least found this entertaining. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.